All right, so here's the clamp dissection. Okay, so for the external structure, what you need to know uh, for this class will be the first thing will be the umbel. Okay, so that will be the two bumps over here. And after you see the umbels, you need to tell where's the anterior side and where's the posterior side. Okay, so when you see the umbel here, the shorter side will be anterior. And then the longer side is what we call posterior. Okay, and after you identify this side, now we need to get to dorsal or ventral. Dorsal, what happened is for the clam originally on this, uh, in the ocean, they sit up on the bottom like this. So what we call this side, where the, the umbo's at, is called dorsal, and this side will be ventral. Okay? And then we need to tell where's, which one is the left valve and which one is the right valve. What you do is face posterior to yourself, and then the one on the right will be right valve, the one on the left will be left valve, okay? And now we will need to cut it open after we identify all the structure. What you do when you cut a clam is you always go through the outermost layer. You go along the edge, and then you cut it. It's because the muscle will be on the outside structure, so you cut it just along the shell, okay, so kind of open, and then you see, oh, this one is kind of opened up, so that means you're doing it right. And then you do the same thing on the other side, cut along the edge, and doing this, and you see, oh, yeah, it opened up, and that one's a perfect one, okay. And then when you go into it, it's kind of, you have to scratch the inter stru internal structure like this, so you wouldn't break everything. Okay, so you kind of cut along it, and then gently scratching off, and then kind of open it up slowly to make sure everything is detached. And then sometimes you would see this happen because the muscle attached to the shell. So what you need to do, just gently cut through the muscle, and then you can see the internal structure, okay? And now after you have everything opened up, we need to identify the shells, okay? For the shells, they have three layers. For three layers, the outermost layer is what we call periostracum layer, okay? So periostracum layer is the outermost layer, and then it's made of protein, okay? And you flip the shell, and then you will see a very shiny structure that's called nacreous layer. The creator's layer, why is shining? It's because it's made out of calcium carbonates, okay? And then the second layer, it's not visible, okay? But it's in between the outermost layer and the innermost layer is called prosmatic layer. And prosmatic layer, because it's in the middle, so it's made out of protein and calcium carbonates, okay? And then you open it up, you will see this lining in between two valves. And then that lining is what we call hinge ligament, okay? So the purpose of the hinge ligament is connect the two valves, okay? And now after we are done with the external structure and the shell, let's move into the external, internal, okay? So for internal structure, the first thing you need to identify will be this very thin film. This film is what we call mantle, okay? Mantle is where the shell is originating from. So the mantle actually secrete the chemical to produce the shell, okay? And then here you will see two layers. The outer layer is actually the muscle. It's called paleo muscle, okay? So you can see these two different layers. So the thinner layer is the mantle, that layer is paleo muscle. And then paleo muscle will actually make up this imprint on the shell. And what we call this imprint on the shell is the paleo line. Okay, so this line here is the paleo line. Okay? And then before we break into the mental, we need to talk about muscles. For muscles, they have two pairs. Okay? The first, the very distinct pair would be this one. So that's where I put my pin. That's called a doctor muscle. For a doctor muscle, we need to know is posterior or anterior. What you need to do is you flip the shell and you see here's the umbel, so that will be posterior. So you flip up, that must be posterior adductor muscle. 
And then that's the same thing right here. You will see another one that's eight doctor, but because it's on the interior side, it's called anterior eight doctor muscle. Okay. And then the one right by the eight doctor muscle will be the smaller muscle. It's called posterior retractor muscle. Okay. And then there's also one pair right here. It's kind of tiny, hard to tell. But it's right by the adductor muscle. That's called retractor muscle. It's anterior retractor muscle. Okay? And then after we identify the muscle, now let's look at this cavity. You will see something like indentation over this area. This area is what we call pericardial cavity. And inside pericardial cavity, we have all the visceral organs in it. And then on top of pericardial cavity we have this thin film it's called pericardium not just the wrapping of the heart okay and then now beneath the pericardium you will see this whitish lump and then this later on will rip the pericardium and show you that structure but that structure is the ventricle okay because there are three chamber uh, structures so let me remove the pericardium carefully and expose the inner structure. All right, so this one's a perfect one. Mm -hmm. All right, so you will see that whitish structure, that will be the ventricle, and then that lining inside the pericardium, that's actually their atrium, okay? So on the bottom, you will see this black structure in here. It's called kidney, okay? So it, the good thing is, in this lab, every organ that's black would be the kidney, okay? So that's a good hint, okay? All right, so after I expose this area, let me open up this one a little bit, okay? So this one, you will see a parallel lines along this organ, that's gills, okay? And then beside gills, you will see this fan structure, that's what we call labial pulp. And the labial palate just acts in like their hands. And they just move the food into their mouth. And then mouth is actually this opening right here. If you kind of lift it up, and then you will see this opening right here. Okay, so that will be the mouth. Okay. And then beneath the labial palate, this structure, when you touch it, it's kind of hard. And then that's actually a muscle, muscular structure. It's the foot. Okay, so that they just have one foot. Okay, so that's the labial pal, gills, and that's the foot, okay? So after we identify all those, we need to cut this clamp open up. Okay, so what we need to see is actually their digestive system. So how you cut it is cut along from the mouth all the way to the bottom, okay? After you cut it, you can expose an inner structure. So here you will see a very distinct green color. That structure is actually digestive gland, okay? And then everything below it, those like a, like a muscle, like a meat of the clam, those are gonads, okay? And then- It looks like oh. shredded beef or something. Yeah, and then here you will see a very clear tube, okay, it's right here, okay? That's their intestine. Okay, and then after we see the digestive system, now we have to flip to the back side. Okay, to the back side, you will see a figure. That's very obvious, okay? So here you will see like a number eight figure. Okay, so right here, like, like a number eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the opening on top will be the excurrent siphon. Okay, and then the opening on the bottom is what we call incurrent siphon. So they actually develop two systems. One is for digestive system, so that will be mouth and anus. But for water, water will go through into the incurrent siphon and go through the whole body and goes out from the excurrent siphon. And in the excurrent siphon, you will see another two structure. The first one, this one, that's the rectum. Okay, and at the end of the rectum, you will see an opening right here. That will be the anus. Okay, so that's the anus. That's the rectum. Okay, so that's it about the clamp dissection.